Alrighty, I've turned the unit on, I've hit the pages button to get to this screen. Now we're going to hit chart, so we have a map to work on, more options, chart source. I've chosen Wyverno just because, as you can see, there's a lot going on there. For the people that just want a basic to know how to change the colours on your map, this is for you. Later on in the video, I'll break it down a bit more and explain why and how and everything like that. For people that just want to know exactly how to do it quickly, this is what we're going to do. Alrighty, more options. We're going to chart options. Scroll down to shading. Okay, this is my depth one. I'll push on, I'll take it off. That's nothing. Put it on. That's what we've done. So to change that, we've got to go custom. Okay, depth one. These are all the colors that I have set. As you can see, the top one's green and it scrolls all the way down. I've got it from five foot to 90 foot. So to change that on your depth setting as standard, it won't have these colors, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now quickly. So you select the first one. If you wanna change the depth, you just push on it and you can type in the depth that you want and hit OK. Then you can choose the color, push the little arrow. You have a different, few different colors there that you can choose from. Then the opacity, if you wanna change the tone of that color, you can use the opacity which makes it a little bit more transparent, which changes the tone. So you can really break it down, but later on in the video, I'll show you that anyway. So then you can just go, keep going down, selecting the next step, changing that, changing that, changing that. I've maxed out, I've just changed everyone that I can and add more points. Just so I can show you how to add more, it says here, add point. So you can hit add point, like on this step two, I've got the setup for Shallow Lake, so I have a different color palette, but if you want to add another one, you can add another one. You can change, put one in any of these numbers. You just type the number there and it will slot it there. So for example, let's put one at some real random number, like nine foot. Okay, hit nine, hit okay. All right, we're gonna change it to, I don't know, we'll have to look at the colors. Let's change it to pink. Pink, okay. Boom, nine foot, okay, and the color's there. You need to, to delete any of these, just hold it, and you can hit delete, and it gets rid of it, okay? So use, I use depth one for deep lakes, I use depth two for shallow lakes. Later on in the video, you can see the difference on what each one does on variant dams. So hopefully this helps. If you want more of a breakdown in this, Continue watching the video and I go through it a little bit more in detail. But this is just really quick for those guys that are just on here just to know exactly how to do it and then they can do it themselves, change the colors and play with it on their own. So for the rest of you that want to know a bit more about it and break it down a little bit more, watch the rest of the video. For everyone else that is watching, we've just gone back to the main screen here. By hitting pages, you get to this screen. Now we're gonna go through a little bit more detail on why I do things and how it's done. Okay, so I've turned the unit on and I've hit the pages button so I can get to this screen. Now we're gonna pick a chart to work on. Hit chart, we need more options, chart source, and today we are going to look at Lake Wyverno as it's a deep lake as well as there's nice points, drop offs, so we can really use the color shading to its advantages. This is Wyverno Dan with no shading on it at all. Or no custom shading, just standard. Pretty plain, zoom right in. We're gonna have a look around here. As you can see, there's so many different numbers there and there is literally two colors. So what we wanna do is we wanna shade this so we can see all the different depths with different colors. So what you need to do is you need to go into chart options, scroll down to where it says shading. You're going to get to this screen. So to custom shade, you hit custom. So as you can see here on depth one, these are all the colors that I've got and the different feet increments down the side. So it goes from five foot all the way to 90 foot and I change 
5, 10, 15, and then I jump straight to 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on to 90. Some of the colors here, you can see the opacity is different. It's not 100%. It's just what I do to get the right color of shade that I like when I'm doing this. When you open this up on your unit, in the depth one, you'll have a couple of random colors there. What you need to do to change them is simple. You click on them. Okay, so you can change it by pushing on the screen and changing the feet there. So you can change the first one to 10 foot or whatever depth you want. And then you just push it in here and then you hit OK. Now you get to select the color for that feet. So you just push a little arrow and you have a different array of colors that you can choose from. So I've got green for five foot and this button here you can change the opacity of it. Clear that for a second, fat fingers. So push on here, I had it at 50%. Most people will use 100%, but I like to fade out my green a little bit. I don't like that big, bold green color. So once you've got this set, you just hit OK. Simple as that. Move to the next one down. You can change the feet, like I said, by clicking on it, and you can type in the feet and then you just hit enter, same thing again, color, then you can change the opacity if you'd like. On this one I've got 50% just because I needed a different shade. I spent a little time on this to, to really tweak it to how I like it. So you don't have to copy this if you don't want to, but this is just a suggestion. So I'm going to apply this now on Lake Wyvano and then you can see the difference. So we're going to go depth one because that's what we've just set so we go to depth one let that sort itself out now you can see there's a lot of colors going on here you can really see that drop off now on either side this area flattens out and this is a big point that's quite flat and then you can see some really deep points here so as I zoom right out you can quickly pick where the river is just remember I chose a dark blue color to, for the darkest. So you can see there that is a big massive river that comes all the way down. So there you have it. A lot of different colors going on here, a lot different to the way it was before. So as you go into here, we'll start in this section here. Nice point, deep section, got some flats. So if you're noticing you're finding fish in sitting in a particular colour, say it's in this white and purple region here. So it, on this map here it's saying it's anywhere from 54 to 45 foot. If you're finding fish in that depth, well then you can zoom out and you can see all the white and purple sections around this area. Nice flat sections here off the point all this along another big long point so it just helps you locate fish easier if you're seeing it in a particular color rather than looking at a number if you go into these lakes sometimes they're not at a hundred percent which is most of the time they won't be at a hundred percent so this map is set at 100 percent so this is why i choose color shading rather than looking at the numbers because like i said before if we're in that blue and white if we're in that purple and white sort of color, like I said, 54 to 45 foot. Now, in real time, that could be in the 30 foot range. But it's the color I'm looking at. Color is so much easier and quicker to look at. So you can zoom out there, you can pick the white. If you do a lot of trolling, you can just troll that white line. And just go, you know, into another color back out. But you can really locate that quite easily rather than trying to look at the numbers. Same over here. You know, if you're finding them, if you're finding them on the flats there, and the, you know that they're wanting to sit in a deeper section, which is this orange colour, you can go along the flats and, and start seeing the sections that the same colour relating to the same depth in real time. So this is just way easier than looking at numbers. Colour is where it's at for me. So I'm just going to change lakes now. Because that's depth one which I've set on a deep lake. 
and these colors won't work on a different lake that is shallower. So I'll just go back and I'll show you. I'm gonna go into social maps and we're gonna go and search for Lake McDonald because that is a shallow dam. Alrighty, here we are at Lake McDonald. Still got the same depth palette, but as you can see, there's not many colours going on here at all. And quite frankly, I don't even like the look of the colours, but each to their own. There's not a lot of depth variant in the colours there. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back into chart options, go into shading, I'm gonna pick depth two. But before I do that, I'm going to go into Custom and Depth 2. And you can see the colour chart here. Starts at 0, 5, 10, 12. I drew a 12 in there. We'll show you why. 15, 20 and 30 foot. You can add points if you want. Just hit Add and you can add different depths in between any of these and choose whatever colour you want. Okay, so just so you can see one. One's this musty yellow looking colour at 60%. Okay, people playing at home. And then it goes green, blue, red, blue, white, and purple. So we're gonna apply, just wanted to show you that before I apply it. So then we're gonna untick depth one. We're going to put depth two. So as you can see here, there's a few more color tones going on here than the last one. I've thrown that 12 foot in there. The reason is, last time I was there, I found that fish were like were liking to sit in the 12 foot mark. So I've got that in a completely different contrast to color so it stands right out. So I'll just blow it right out here now. Now you can really see everywhere that is close to 12 foot. Really tight along here, some nice sort of broken flats here, nice flat areas here going into a bay. We'll zoom back in. So you can really pick the different colors. I've chosen the colors I have for the reason that the contrast against, you know, if it's down 10 feet, you get more color variant in the different depths. So knowing that that's 16 foot and that's 22 foot, and yet there's one, two, three, four, five say six colors there and it's only changing six foot color per foot really broken down in a shallow lake deeper section is only like 22 foot in this section here so you can see the colors all the way along there if you're noticing that the fish are sitting in a particular color well you can sit your boat there and run parallel to the bank or you can come back out casting towards it this makes it a lot easier and by choosing that red color, go back in here, step two, that 12 foot red, that is completely opposite side of the color wheel to blue. So it's gonna stand right out. So if you went around and seen some fish at 25 foot, we'll just add a point. All right, just hit 25, hit okay. All right, you got yellow, you got white and purple. So you need something that sticks out between white and purple. All right, let's go yellow. It's gonna look ugly, but hey, it's gonna stand out. Hit that, okay, go back. All right. Now I picked that yellow color. Now you can see all the way through the lake, the yellow color. And I did this for a reason, because it is a shallow dam. So you can see all the deep little spots fish might be holding there, the bait could be holding in that depth. But now you can see everywhere in the lake at that depth. Very helpful. I'm just gonna undo that because I don't need that. You can just hold on that and you can delete it. Okay, I just held on it, I'm just gonna hit delete and it takes it away from there. So next time I go there, they might be at a different depth that I'm trying to hone in on. Last time it was 12 foot, next time I go there might be something different. So I'll delete that and change it back to the lake. So that's depth two on a small lake and this is depth one on a large lake. Large lake being a lake that 
is a lot deeper. So your shallow lake and a deep lake. That's how I've got mine set up. Hope this helps with your angling. It's definitely helped with mine. I find this quicker with the color rather than looking at a number due to dams being at different percentage levels. Most of these maps are done for 100%. So just look for the color. Hell of a lot easier. As you can see, there's so much of a breakdown in color range there. If you're finding out a, a, in a certain depth, which is relating to a color, keep searching around that color. You'll most likely find the fish are still in that, but in a different location. Once again, thanks for listening. I really hope this improves your angling. It's definitely helped mine. So until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share it. It all helps. Spread the love to everyone. Show how good this shading is on their Lawrence.